From the brains behind Brains On, this is Moment of Um. Answering those questions that make you go... I'm Molly Bloom. So I have a friend who put glow-in-the-dark stickers of stars and planets all over the ceiling of his room. During the day, the stickers are just plain yellowish-green, but at night, they look like they're lit from inside. It is the coolest thing. When he lies in bed at night, he likes to pretend he's in a spaceship looking out at the solar system. Do you have any glow-in-the-dark stuff? Maybe you have a t-shirt or even pajamas with a glow-in-the-dark design. Maybe you've used those glow sticks on Halloween, you know, those plastic tubes with some liquid inside, and when you crack it, the liquid starts to glow. So cool. Well, one of our listeners wanted to know more. Hi, my name is August. I'm from Sunday, Alberta, Canada, and my question is, how do glow-in-the-dark things glow? Glow-in-the-dark things, that results from a chemical reaction. Okay, my name is Dr. Alita M. Poe. I am a university professor, and I teach general chemistry at the University of Louisville in Louisville, Kentucky. The substances are called phosphors, and these phosphors need a little energy to actually radiate the light. So if your substance has what's called a phosphor in it, then that phosphor needs to be a little bit energized. Usually the energy can be from the UV or ultraviolet light. And that's what happens when the light would hit the stars on your ceiling. During the daytime, the light on your ceiling is hitting the phosphors that are in the paint or either the plastic on the stars. So then once you turn the light off, then the phosphors emit that light that they have stored up. They emit the energy that they have stored up and that energy that they emit is in the form of light. And the light is in a certain region that our eyes can see it. Um, um, um. Did you know there are also glow-in-the-dark things in nature too? Some microscopic organisms that live in water glow bright blue when they bump into each other. Fireflies can light up their butts, some fish can glow, and there are even glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. This show-stopping trick is called bioluminescence. Bio for living things, and luminescence is like, you know, illuminating or lighting up. Add bioluminescence to the list of superpowers animals have that I wish I had too. If you like this episode, take a second to subscribe to Moment of Um wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also check out the Brains On podcast where we explain why cell phones are so hard to put down. If you have a Moment of Um question, we would love to help you answer it. Drop us a line by going to brainson.org slash contact. Until next time, um... um, 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 um.